today i am going to talk about the ecg recording guidelines and this should be followed strictly the operator who is taking the ecg should be qualified should be trained on the specific ecg equipment should display his certificate and qualification introduce himself to the patient and take the verbal or written consent of the patient you should also note down the name address and date of birth of patient should check his passport or identity card and if patient is unconscious then should look for any wrist bands which usually is in hospitalized patients or should look for any identity card in his pocket he should also note down the time and date of ecg recording and should explain the procedure to the patient his communication skills should be very good and you should be able able to communicate with clarity and accuracy should provide information appropriate to the patient's needs and how much level of undress is needed should be told to the patient should treat patient with dignity and respect keep cultural sensitivities and religious beliefs in view should be compassionate kind and caring towards the patient and should offer chaperon or should allow any relative with the patient then how should be the environment where ecg is taken the room should have privacy it should be curtained walled or screened procedure should be completed with no delays and interruptions the environment should be comfortable and warm there should be in the area hand cleaning facilities and waste disposal facilities and in the room there should be height adjustable couch we should be wide enough for arms to rest on room should be stocked appropriately when i say room should be stocked appropriately i mean to say that there should be enough ecg paper there should be electrodes available there should the the wires should not be torn or damaged there should be cleaning towels and there should be the gel alcohol separate all the things should be it should be stocked before the ecg is taken and while you are taking ecg of the patients the ornaments watches rings better to be removed patient should calm down and no movement should be done while taking ecg the operator should wash or should wash or use alcohol gel to clean the hands patient should be placed in semi recumbent position or should lie flat if he is able to lie flat it is okay if not then put him in semi recumbent position if he is not able to lie in semi recumbent position even you can take the ecg in sitting position and appropriate skin preparation should be performed for example you may have to remove the hair you may have to apply the gel to have the good contact of electrodes with the skin and the electrodes should be properly placed the limb leads should be placed on wrists and ankles and chest leads should also be placed in correct anatomical positions in accordance with scst guidelines and appropriate technique should be used to locate the correct anatomical positions the operator has to check the check for the 
for the angle of Lewis. He has to check for the second intercostal space. Then he has to go down third intercostal space and fourth intercostal space. Then he should put, he should place right and left uh, right and left electrodes on the sternal border on the right and left side of the chest. The leads that are connected should be correctly connected to the electrocardiograph. The recording quality should be good and artifact free recording should be obtained. And it should be ensured that the initial recording is at appropriate settings for paper speed like 25 mm per second and gain should be 10 mm per millivolt. And where appropriate modifications are to be done, it should be done because sometimes when you may you may get you may not get correct ECG recording, there may be some error. Then a second ECG recording should be should be done, and it should be produced if required, including the changes to the paper speed, gain, rhythm, strip, or you may have to place the electrodes on the right side of the chest in case of in case of dextrocardia so these modifications should be done and it should be ensured that ecg recording is forwarded appropriately according to the local policy for medical review electronic storage and copy in notes etc and the and it should be also ensured that the patient's information has been treated in a confidential and secure way.